It's a way to give someone who has broken the law a glimpse at life in lockup. It's called shock probation. A judge recently gave that sentence to a woman who would committed a hit and run. Our Tiffany Huertas explains how shock probation works and speaks with a local criminal justice professor about what it aims to accomplish. <laughs> His brain injury, that's going to be a long journey of learning how to do and function. In 2017, Private First Class Matthew Belknap, a Fort Sam Houston soldier, was on his bike on the way to work when he was critically injured by a hit and run driver. At the time, his wife was pregnant and she became his sole caretaker. Every day she shows me more and more and more how love is such an unconditional thing. But what happened to the woman responsible for this? Marissa Ross was sentenced to 10 years in prison in August. On Friday, a judge granted shock probation after she served six months. So what exactly is shock probation? Criminal justice professor Richard Hartley explains. It sends convicted offenders to prison for a short period of time, say 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days. And then based on their behavior in prison, the judge could bring them back and resentence them to probation. Hartley says shock probation can be approved for low-level nonviolent offenders or first-time offenders, but it's ultimately up to the judge. The idea behind it is to expose people to the realities of life behind bars. Hopefully it would reduce um, recidivism, right, so that they would complete their probation, they won't commit another crime again. Ross will now serve 10 years probation. It was not a decision the judge made alone. She said she met with the Belknaps and worked on the probation conditions together, which will include drug court and monthly restitution. Ross will also go to jail for the weekend on every anniversary of the crash. The judge said Ross will also spend two weeks with the victim's family to help with care of the victim. Matthew's wife sent us this statement saying, I pray the relationship we will inevitably have will truly impact her in a much harder way than prison will. Possibly a hope for other states that use similar forms of shock probation. They're realizing that traditional periods of incarceration have not done anything. For The Nine, Tiffany Huertas, 